in this video i am demonstrating how to create this java application so entering any string and clicking on the submit button open new jframe and the text title of jframe is an input string on a previous jframe and label also contain the same text of an input string of a previous jframe to create this project Go to the file section and click on the new project. Select Java from a categories and Java application from a projects and click on the next button. Now give name to your Java project. For this tutorial, I am giving the project name to tutorial 2 and uncheck mark the create main class and click on the finish button. Now go to the project panel, expand the source package and right click on the default package and create new jframe. Give the name to the jframe as a jframe1 and click on the finish button. Now again go to the project, right click on the default package and another, create another jframe. Give name this Give name this jframe to jframe2 and click on the finish button. Now, as we are in the jframe2, drag one label from a palette at the center of a layout. For changing the size and the style of a label, go to the properties, click on this button and change style to the bold and size to 24 and click ok now drag a label at the center of a layout to changing the variable name of this label right click on it and select the change variable name now change the variable name to the text and click ok go to the source and scroll down to the source you will find the main method inside the jframe2 as we know there is no second entry point or more than one entry point in any program so delete this main function now scroll up to the force and you will find the jframe2 and this is a default constructor as we know we also take some arguments or parameter in order to start the jframe so define some argument and change the default constructor to the parameterized constructor we are defining a string we also need to access this string outside of the scope so we are defining the global string And this global string was defined by this text field and assign this global string by this local string. For doing that, go into the constructor and type title and assign with the local string text title. Make sure you, you assign this value before the init component. This init component defined or create our main jframe at the execution of this constructor. After this init component, we have to define our label. So type text and set text now go to the design and left click on the layout and go to the properties to change the title click on this button and select the custom code now set the title to the title and click ok now go to the jframe 1 and drag text field in the center of a layout 
Now drag a label at the left side of a text field. Now again go to the palette and drag one button at the bottom of a text field. To change the text of a label, right click on it and select edit text. Enter your any text and hit ok. Now hold the left click on a label and drag it to top left corner of a layout. Now hold left click on a text field and drag it to the tab of top left corner of the string. Now align with the label, resize the size of text field and click F2. Now click on the backspace and hit enter. Now hold the left click on the button and align at the bottom of a text field. For changing the text of a button, right click on it and click on the edit text. Now change the text to the submit. Now change the size of a layout and click on the and right click on the submit button and set even on the submit button. Now delete this command and type new name of a second J frame which is a J frame 2 and as you see the default text is also coming here to change the default text to our J text field type J text field and get string and set the visibility equals to true so this line will be open our J frame 2 with the passing the value of a J text field now to closing this current J frame type this dot dispose now go to the file run section and test the project and go to the output to see the output of this project there is no error so go to the run and click on the run project as you see there is only one main class for the project so click on ok now enter any text and click on submit button the title will appear and the label also contains the same text. So this concludes this video. Thanks for watching.